In the northern suburbs of Kansas City, Missouri, just a few minutes from downtown, there's a magical place for children and families alike. A place where parents and grandparents now bring their own children and grandchildren to experience a piece of their own childhoods. It's Penguin Park, a Northland Kansas City gem since 1965 and home to the iconic 25-foot penguin in the center of its play area. They don't think anything really prepares you for you know just how big the penguin is until you until you get here. When I first saw the penguin, I thought it was that's why it was called Penguin Park, and I thought it was pretty cool. But how did these one-of-a-kind characters come to be at the corner of Vivian Road and North Norton? In the 1950s and 60s, much of the playground equipment for Kansas City Parks were designed and built by employees of the Kansas City Parks and Recreation Department. One employee, a creative self-taught engineer and craftsman named Vernon Jones, played an important role in creating the magic at Penguin Park. But Penguin Park on concept became something that Vernon was really focused on. He wanted to do a playground that was more than your normal playground. When somebody built this, there's no other park in the city like it. It's historic, it's iconic. I mean, just to, the creativity, it sparked my art and love of art. However, when the park first opened more than a half century ago, it wasn't known as Penguin Park. These spacious grounds, which still today include a lake, green space, and the playground area, were originally known as the Lakewood Greenway. That would be very confusing to me because I know this as Penguin Park, not Lakewood Park. It was only after the giant penguin was installed that local residents began calling the playground area Penguin Park. It's just always been Penguin Park, and when I when I talk to people from anywhere in the city, they know it as Penguin Park, the park with the big penguin. Thus, acknowledging the popular name for the park, the playground area of Lakewood Greenway was officially renamed Penguin Park in 1998. Throughout its history, Penguin Park has served more than just the Northland. Children and families from the entire metro area and beyond have enjoyed this special place. The one thing that I think is important to note is that Penguin Park is a destination playground. Nothing like it in the metro area, actually nothing like it whatsoever when it comes to this kind of a playground. There's people from all walks of life there. The park is just alive with community and diversity. It's just this great microcosm of the world, and everyone is just there to have a good time. Northland residents, however, consider the park an identifying symbol for the community situated north of the Missouri River. For the renovations uh, that took place in the, in the late 90s, uh, I was the staff landscape architect in charge of doing this project. We came up with keeping the same play activities but putting in the safety standards to accommodate the children's safety. Today, yet another generation enjoys these same experiences at the park, even if much of the equipment has been modified or replaced for increased safety and durability. I basically look at all of the climbing things that I can do because I love to climb. There's a lot of variety and that you can, um, there's things from swings to slides and all different um, kinds of material that you can go to. I feel like a, a park brings life to a community. It's free, it's open, people can enjoy it from all walks of life. It's the ultimate gathering place for anybody and everybody to enjoy. It's a nice little It'll break from, from your everyday. Happy I get to play at the park. It's pretty fun. Um, I'd probably come here a million more times. Wherever you come from, welcome to Penguin Park.